It is Vlogmas! Look at Tony and his I know, but I can't tell. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Nope. You're gonna be on my YouTube. That's my boss. I'm a little crazy. She's local. <laughs> That's my sister. Um, you ain't gotta do yeah, all that. Uh, I thought gotta, it was a picture. No. She put us on YouTube. Hi. <laughs> Hi. because we had a hotel party a hotel party a holiday party today and um but the holiday party was like 11:30 in the morning but then I had to be back at work at 11 at night and I just thought that was ridiculous and then apparently the holiday parties are mandatory girl bye cuz if I don't show up who going to check me boo how is a holiday party mandatory? That's stupid. Like, it's nice to go to, but how is it mandatory? Anyways, um, so my boss got me a hotel room. So that's where I am right now. I did a, a hotel walkthrough earlier. So I definitely will post that in here. So I'm just sitting here chilling. I won. I won this which is a two at the holiday party is a two night two night weekend stay with breakfast for two at Marriott Dallas is um in Plano which apparently is nowhere around here so okay I don't know how I'm gonna get out there but I'm gonna make it work make it work um yeah so I just wanted to come up here and just check in with y'all we we are still 
going strong in vlogmas i'm pretty proud of myself because we're almost done and i'm sticking it out i'm not quitting early in it like i did last year or possibly a year before i have no idea um i had a draining day i was talking to my friend and she's a she's a life coach so i'm gonna holler at y'all i'm gonna tell y'all what it is so I was talking to my friend and I was telling her how I was dating this guy and he was dating me and a few, I guess a few other people and he just, he broke it down to just like two people, right? So he's just dating the two of us and then he decides to tell me that he would um, rather us just be friends that he he's so busy he needs to just focus on one person so i asked like okay um what made you choose that one over me or you know vice or whatever and he tells me that basically there's nothing wrong with me that our chemistry is over the top but he started dating her first so it's only right that he just be friends with me and continue dating her because he only dated he dated her first. So I got immediately irritated because he first was like how nobody knows that they're dating is secret. Then he turns around and says that only a couple people know that they're dating, whatever. Um, so now I found myself like feeling insecure about myself and almost like jealous. Like I began real with y'all. The uh the jealousy monster monster kept came creeping up on your girl, and I'm looking at homegirl's page. I started looking at his page. My mind starts getting idle and like creating. I start get creating things in my head, and I just had to like talk to my friend because like I said, she's a certified life coach, and she was like, Shay. Do you like pain? Do you like? self afflicting self pain and I'm just like nah bro what are you talking about she was like because are you sure because if you don't like pain why are you going on these people pages even if he's lying to you about the whole thing why are you going on their page it's only it's only messing you up you know sometimes when something doesn't work out you want to see like what it like what subconsciously in the back of your head you want to see like what it is you feel me so that's what I was doing. Like, I'm human. I'm not going to sit here faking a funk with y'all. Like, oh, yeah, he said this. And, yeah, we're cool and we're best friends. And I wish them all the best. Like, nah. Like, my feelings was hurt. I'm human. Like, this is the problem with people. People like to sugarcoat stuff and don't say the real deal. We all go through our moments of insecurity and jealousy. Even if it's quick, some people are long. Some people get over it fast. But we have our moments. And I went through my moment. My friend gave me a good swift kick in the ass. And she was like, the whole point of it is even if he is lying, who cares? As long as you're not lying to yourself and you break free of all that extra stuff and you just keep it moving, keep it moving, girl. The end all goal is for you to be happy with yourself. When you started to feel insecure about yourself because of the decisions that he made is when you should have really sat down and checked yourself real quick. The first thing was shouldn't have been to go run on Instagram. And she was right. I had a, a vulnerable moment. I had a bit of a touch of insecurity. I, have, I had a touch of jealousy. And I just want to tell y'all, like, it's okay to have those moments. You feel me? It's okay to like look in the mirror and feel insecure a little bit. It's okay to have your feelings crushed because somebody chose someone over you for something that seems dumb as hell. Like you have more chemistry with this person and he said that, but he chooses somebody else. Because, but it don't matter at this point. It's okay to feel those feelings. And I think a lot of time people feel like they shouldn't have these feelings. So they just suppress it, but it comes out in other ways. Push through the pain. I always tell y'all this. Push through the pain. Let the pain 
Like, let the pain come up. Sit down in that pain. Sit down in it and understand where this is coming from and how it made you feel. Remember that moment because you don't want that to happen again. This this was a, um, a life-changing moment for me because I honestly realized that and I said it in another video, I honestly realized that I do not want to date a person who's dating a whole bunch of people. Even if it's not serious and we're still getting to know each other, i just rather it just be a one-on-one -on -one thing. I don't want it to be with Tom, Dick, and Harry and then Shay. Like, I don't want that. I just want it to be Shay. We get to know each other. If it don't work out, okay, cool, bada bing, bada boom, move on. Not me having to worry about, okay, so if then this and then there's that, and then there's this and then that. And the whole thing, too, could be just the fact that I'm just not as busy as I want to be. So it leaves me having thoughts that I should not have, right? You know when you're not busy, you become, you become real idle. If you don't know what idle is, idle means... You just sit around doing shit that you have no business doing or just being annoying for no reason because you have you pretty much don't have nothing to do. That's being idle. So yeah. I wanted to drop a couple gems on y'all. But I'm about to go lay it down a little bit because I have to get up to work eleven o'clock. Jeez Louise, bro. 11 o'clock to 7 in the morning so let me go get myself some rest anyways y'all i love y'all see you later Sally, uh, crash course let me hide the money in the dashboard max mad could you lost the brick inside the porch goofy with the curb